Today, you're going to learn how to create an artistic transition like this one. Welcome to the Canva classroom, everybody. Let's get started. I'm going to try to make this as simple for you as possible. So what you're going to do is watch all the way through because at the end, I'm going to give you a gift that's going to make this super simple for you. What you want to do is you want a video template. If it's not there, then you will click video and then you can click video. Why do you want a video template? That's a great question. And it's because you can click play and play through the timeline down here at the bottom. And you can also click play and play up here at the top. It's just a super simple way to double check your work. The transition. Go to elements, type in the word transition, then click the video tab. It's called abstract animation colorful. If you click on view more by the same artist, you're going to see a whole bunch of different options. Right click set video as background. If you want a 10 second transition, then the hard part is done. But I really recommend not having a 10 second transition. We're going to do something within Canva to make it shorter. I've clicked on the video up here at the top. There's a little scissors with 10.0s. Click that and the timeline comes up at the top. You will see the playback bar as it's moving. At the beginning, there's a purple bar that if you hover over it, you will see the double arrow. And at the end, the same thing. For this particular video, what I like to do is left click at the beginning and then drag. As I drag, you will notice that the number over here that used to say 10.0s is getting smaller. I drag it till it's a, about 3.5. Let's go one more, 3.4 and see what that looks like. Let's go back one. That's pretty good. 3.7 seconds. Click done. We need to add some text. When you press T on your keyboard, a text box will pop up. You can type what you want your transition to say. Not all transitions need words, but it's a nice custom touch. You wouldn't want your text transition to be that small. If you take your mouse, left click on the circle, you can make your text larger. And then you can position it where you would like for it to go. In this case, center and middle. That looks pretty good. Let's add a text effect. Click on your text box, go up here to effects. We're gonna go to shadow and change the color to black. We're going to move the transparency up in the 70s and then move the blur all the way to 100. Now the text pops right off the transition nicely. It's time to download this. Click your download button. Your file type for this will be an MP4 video. If for some reason it says something else, you just click the down arrow and check it to MP4 video. Click download. If you want to create more transitions, all you have to do is this. Just type in your new title and it keeps the text effect there for you and it's easy to download again. Now I mentioned earlier that I would be giving you a gift to make this easier. I'm going to give you my text effect. That way you've got this text effect. You've got the numbers right there. If you want to change them, you will be able to do that, but you have the exact numbers available that I did right here. The other thing I'm going to do is you're going to get this video in full. I want you to learn how to chop down the video yourself. How are you going to get it? Let me show you. This is a video that premiered back in January. 
Basically, if you look at the description of the current video, you're going to get a little thumbtack and it will probably say something like the transition template link. You'll get a link like this. You're going to click it. A template created by Like It or Not was shared with you. Start designing now. And then you will click Use Template. It will open it up and you'll be able to use it. If you want to know how Canva Pro saves me time, be sure to check out the video listed in the description below. It's also going to be right there on your screen for certain devices. So be sure to tap into it to learn how Canva Pro saves me time. If you like this tutorial and want to see more like it, then make sure that you are subscribed, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.